Hi everyone, this is Alvina Aga and in this video I'm going to explain you what's happening in Pakistan, what's the contemporary situation of Pakistan, what's happening with Imran Khan, former Prime Minister of Pakistan and what is the electoral process but instead how this electoral process is going on. Unfortunately, every time whenever we see electoral process, the media is completely explaining about how many seats are there and what is the process, uh, who are the MNAs going to be, who are the MPAs going to be, which political parties are going to have more uh, chances of winning, which political parties might not win and there are complete transmissions over there and um, journalists all over, they're writing and they're speaking about it but unfortunately right now which we have seen so far, even the publication, the biggest publications I do not want to name, which were the prestigious news publications and news media, they're not even reporting much about elections. As we've seen that recently in Balochistan, Quetta, in Pasheen and also in Kila Sefullah, there, there has been blast. People are people are completely wounded and there, there have been a lot of deaths reported as well. But this is not just about Balochistan. Even the same instances are happening in Sin and Punjab and KPK even. There are also a lot of attacks on major political parties but unfortunately as we know that Imran Khan was the leading and uh, successful candidate for the elections but Imran Khan was ousted from his government in 2022 April and the moment when he was ousted he was charged with century cases not dozen of cases he was charged with century of a case and all of these cases they were not really legit and Imran Khan is one of the strongest leader we've ever seen but unfortunately he's still behind the bars. He was the one leader who said that he wanted to fight against the corrupt system of Pakistan and till the date he is behind the bars. But salute to his candidates who are despite of a lot of challenges and a lot of candidates who want to run in this election they are being killed and a lot of young young guys and young women they are being molested, they are being um, behind the bars and there's a lot going on with the candidates who want to take the election, who want to take a part in elections or who want to get seats for Imran Khan and they want uh, Imran Khan to be the leader, the next leader. Now the question is, do you think Imran Khan will win and the electoral process will be transparent? But, but if this is going to happen, how? This is the true question. And last but not the least, if you are in Pakistan, go and vote. Do not waste your right. And once you vote, just do not vote and go. Try to protect your vote also because this is about Pakistan.